The countdown clock has resumed, and we are go for launch at 6.45 a.m. Eastern. With liftoff approaching, we're going to raise the volume on our launch team so you can hear the final preps taking place. Three minutes. Pressurizing Atlas tanks. Securing LO2 topping. 250. FTS internal. T minus two minutes. The rocket, payload, ground systems, and eastern range are go for launch. 150. Securing Centaur LH2. Securing Centaur LO2. If you just tuned in, I'm Ben Chilton, your host for today's live coverage of the Atlas V USS F 51 launch. At this time, the team is not working any issues, and we're proceeding towards an on time liftoff at 6 45 a.m. Eastern. One twenty. OCU's armed. FCS count started. One fifteen. Produce CCS for launch. Roger. One ten. Vent valves locked. One minute. Rock report. T minus that. one minute. Range green. Forty seconds. Stable at step three. Verify ECS reduced for launch. Verified. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go SF fifty one. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying USS F-51 for the United States Space Force on ULA's 100th National Security Mission. Hydraulics look good. We are throttling down in preparation for max Q. Is everything looking good? P is at close loop control. And we'll program did complete on time. Mach 1. Vehicle is now supersonic. Engine continues to operate normally. SRB is burning normally. Everything looking good. You are hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data. Me and Max Q. We're throttling up post Max Q as expected. Everything looking good following the expected profile. SRB is burning normally. RD-180 operating expected throttle level. Everything looking good. Body weights look good. We have now throttled down. 
in preparation for SRB burnout. We are now 50% of our liftoff weight. SRB is rolling off. And we have SRB burnout. 10 seconds to SRB jettison. SRB jet. All five SRBs successfully jettisoned the vehicle. RD-180 is throttled up and operating normally. Everything looking good. Right now, 34 miles in altitude, 36 miles downrange, traveling at 4,200 miles per hour. Quick review of our range track. Vehicles proceeding right down the center of the range track. Everything looking good. And we did enable closed loop steering a few seconds ago. Everything looks good there. Next event we're looking for is throttling down to a constant 2.5 G limit for payload fairing jettison. And we've begun the throttle down, now holding a constant 2.5 Gs in preparation for fairing jet. And we fired the pyro valve, we're act activating the reaction control system on the second stage. And we just passed through the Von Karman line. 25% of liftoff weight. Ten seconds to fairing jet. We have fairing jettison. And seal of our deck jettison. And we throttled up the RD-180. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus 3 minutes and 38 seconds. We just heard flight commentator Rob Gannon confirm the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. At this time, we are going to end our live coverage. For more information about the Atlas V rocket, visit ULALaunch.com. I'm Ben Chilton, and thank you for joining us this morning. Before we sign off, let's take another look at the liftoff of ULA's 100th National Security Mission. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, carrying USSF-51 for the United States Space Force on ULA's 100th National Security Mission. Hydraulics look good. We are throttling down in preparation for Max Q. Everything looking good to use a close loop control. program did complete on time.